Hello, and welcome to this year's Fireline Safety Refresher Training. Looking at that clip from the past, it can be said that modern day wildland firefighting has dramatically changed over the years. It can also be argued that in reality, many of the basic fundamentals have not changed at all. During this presentation, we're going to explore, through history, the development of our guiding principles and safety checklists. It's our hope that once again, Fireline Safety will be brought to the forefront of your mind and you'll be persistent in following proper safety procedures throughout this upcoming fire season. The Fire Year in Review is an opportunity to revisit hard-won lessons from the past and apply them to the present. Regardless of our position or title, it is up to each of us to take something away from this training and apply it to this fire year. The National Interagency Coordination Center provides intelligence and predictive services products to support wildland fire and incident management decision making. One such product is the NIC Wildland Fire Summary and Statistics Annual Report. This document collects information from the Situation Report and Incident Status Summary programs and the Interagency Resource Ordering Capability System to provide a national perspective on annual fire activity. For the second year in a row, reported acres burned nationwide was noticeably lower than the 10-year average. In 2023, wildfires consumed 2.7 million acres compared to 7.6 million acres in 2022. Only the eastern area saw above average acres burned. However, the number of reported wildfires nationwide was only slightly lower than the 10-year average. In 2023, there were just over 56,500 wildfires reported, in contrast to nearly 69,000 wildfires in 2022. In 2023, the National Preparedness Level reached PL4 August 17th, three weeks earlier than 2022. For the second year in a row, we never hit PL5. Reviewing National Preparedness Level dates and days for the 2021 fire year reveals another interesting comparison. In 2021, we reached PL4 June 22nd and PL5 July 15th. 2023 tallied 21 days in PL4 and zero days in PL5, compared to 31 days at PL4 and 68 days at PL5, a record in 2021. Human-caused fires accounted for 90% of total starts nationally. The number of human-caused acres burned was over 1.5 million, in contrast to just under 1.2 million lightning-caused acres. In the following sequence, the graph on the left displays the number of fires in 2023 compared to 2022 for the geographic area highlighted. The chart on the right shows acres burned. Pop-outs feature a notable fire from each geographic area. Alaska experienced 32% fewer fires than their 10-year average and 78% fewer acres burned. The eastern area had a substantial increase of 12% more fires than their 10-year average. Their acres burned exceeded their average by 56%, the largest increase nationally. Fire starts in the Great Basin decreased by 30% of their 10-year average. Additionally, 89% fewer acres burned than their average, the most substantial decrease geographically in 2023. The number of wildfires in Northern California decreased by 21% of their 10-year average. Acres burned decreased by 78%. In the Northern Rockies, the number of wildfires dipped by 21% of their 10-year average. 71% fewer acres burned. The Northwest area's total wildfires dipped 4% below their 10-year average, and total acres decreased by 
The Rocky Mountain area experienced a 29% decrease in number of wildfires over their 10-year average. Acres burned dropped 44%. The southern area dropped 8% below their 10-year average of reported wildfires. They burned 30% fewer acres. The southwest saw a 1% increase above their 10-year average of reported wildfires. Acres burned fell 28% below the average. Southern California experienced 6% fewer reported wildfires than their 10-year average, and 59% fewer acres burned. Statistics aren't the only tool helping us gain situational awareness. Lessons are another way. The Wildland Fire Lessons Learned Center year-end infographic is a quick snapshot of initial numbers and select lessons. The LLC Annual Review Summary provides a comprehensive review of the past year's lessons, including actionable exercises. In 2023, there was a marked increase in accidents involving utility terrain vehicles, or UTVs, with 12 accidents reported. These occurred in all phases of wildland fire response, during travel, on initial attack operations, on prescribed fires, and during extended attack. UTV fires were four of the 12 accidents. An important way to mitigate hazards with UTVs is to provide the same preventative maintenance checks and inspections as are completed with all other fire response vehicles before each use. Ensure UTVs are equipped with a serviced and inspected fire extinguisher. To be most effective, fire extinguishers must be quickly accessible and individuals must be trained on how to use them in the event of an emergency. Anyone using a UTV should have a comprehensive understanding of the vehicle's capabilities and limitations, which change with terrain and weather considerations. All users should train with them throughout the season and discuss specific safety considerations. 16 separate burn injuries were reported in 2023. The most common scenarios included drip torch use and falling into hot ash or active flame. Firefighters routinely work around fire while transporting and using flammable liquids. It is quite easy to normalize this behavior, yet the risk of burn injuries is inherently present. Firefighters can mitigate this risk by first ensuring that fuel does not permeate their clothing and gear. Nomex is much less flame resistant in the presence of bar oil, drip torch mix, or other flammable liquids. Once ignited, fires that start on clothing are difficult to extinguish, making burn injury a likely outcome. Burn injuries can happen to anyone on the fire line. They can have a lasting effect on both your physical and mental health. Most burn injuries are preventable. Take the extra second to make wise choices. 12 separate entrapment events were recorded in 2023. The entrapments occurred in the following scenarios. Nine, during initial attack engine operations. Two, during initial attack dozer operations and one during firing operations from a UTV on a prescribed fire. The National Wildfire Coordinating Group defines entrapment as a situation where personnel are unexpectedly caught in a fire behavior related, life-threatening position where planned escape routes or safety zones are absent, inadequate, 
or compromised. An entrapment may or may not include deployment of a fire shelter for its intended purpose. These situations may or may not result in injury. They include near misses. Entrapments do happen. If we acknowledge these events as learning opportunities, we may improve our decision-making during stressful situations to prevent future entrapments. It has been argued that the lessons learned from this last fire season in many ways were lessons relearned. Another argument can be made stating that we continue to learn from each and every fire we go on. Do recent accidents only serve as reminders of lessons that we've seen before? Or are they actually teaching us something new? It is the responsibility of every firefighter to remain a student of fire.